welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I am your host, the House Code Gamer. Time for the other mission from hell. In this case, Operation Gamma. Now you may be asking, why does he hate this mission? The answer, simple. Shuttles. Karakhan's ships are guarding the wormhole, so access is limited. A small craft like a shuttle or fighter might be able to slip through the blockade, so leave your starship here at Bajor. Commander Samuel Winters is here, and he's one of the best shuttle pilots I know. I recommend you bring him along. The war is over, but Loris and Karu Khan won't believe it unless they hear it from someone they trust. your hands on two-thirds of the ga- of the, uh, Jem'Hadar set, because you're curious. But honestly, I'm not gonna be getting it. I don't see the point when I could get, you know, better ships, better equipment, that sort of thing. Except this time I'm gonna try to avoid shooting at that Jem'Hadar ship. Stupid frickin' thing.
The Jim'Hadar ship is on an intercept course, sir. Shields and weapons are at full, Captain. Ready to engage. Setting a course for the wormhole now. You know, we could have easily just bypassed this. You know, just use a cloaked ship. We'll be halfway to the Gamma Quadrant before the Jim Hadar know what happened. Wow, that's some view. This is my first trip into the wormhole. Thanks for letting me tag along. Captain Curlin says there's a traitor in the Idrin system who knows how to contact the Dominion. She's probably our best chance for finding them quickly. But Curlin says Farek's help won't come cheap. We need to be ready to negotiate with her. When we're out of the wormhole, we should start searching for Farek's vessel. I'm picking up a ship on long-range sensors, Captain. The configuration matches Farag's ship, sir, but I'm detecting damage to several systems. There's no response to a hail, sir, but her communications array might be damaged. Setting a course to the ship's coordinates now. Enjoy what's going to happen next. Well, the part that happens after this. I can hear profit in the wind, and the wind is blowing. If you want it, I've got it. That's me, the best trader with the biggest deals in the sector. I have Utterberry futures, cultural artifacts from a hundred different worlds, alpha current nectar, disruptor rifles, and the best salvage this side of the galactic barrier. Or maybe you're interested in something else. Need a guide to the Gamma Quadrant? How about someone who can take you to the hidden markets? Or get you into the Dosi system unnoticed? If you have the Latinum, I have what you need. Time is money. Oh, <laughs> that? <laughs> nothing really. Nothing you need to be concerned about. 
You just can't make some customers happy. Time is money. Profit. While it's easier for women to run their own businesses now on Ferenginar, there's still a lot of prejudice. And I'm not about to stay home naked chewing tube grubs. I was a dealer of assorted and sundry merchandise in the Bolian sector till there was a slight problem with my business partners. Through absolutely no fault of my own, my business license from the FCA was temporarily revoked. Until I can get the paperwork straightened out, I decided to set up shop out here. Why do I have a feeling that she is lying to my face? It's great out here. There's hardly any competition and deals to be made everywhere. The body aren't any trouble once you learn the rules of that crazy game. The Dosi are too scared of the Karema to be a real challenge and everyone else is either running from the Dominion or part of it. Time is money. Well now, that's an, an interesting question. I know where to find the Dominion, of course. I can even get you in touch with a Vorda who has a direct line to the Founders. He's a close personal friend as well as a valued client. In fact, I always keep a case of Covenant Crunch on board just for him. However, the location of one of my best customers is not information I share for free. And no offense, friend, but you don't look like you can afford what I would charge. Perhaps my main would be able to do it. Time is money. I'll give it to you straight. Intel about the Dominion is hard to acquire, and therefore extremely valuable. You don't have a cargo hold big enough for all the latinum I'd want in exchange for the data, but I'm willing to consider an alternative method of payment. You see that planetoid over there? I have a limited amount of time to collect everything valuable from it that I can. And as you can see, my ship could use some repairs. While my crew and I work on fixing this baby up, I could use some help with the salvage. So, here's the deal. You get me something I can turn a profit with, and I'll tell you where you can find the Dominion. I always hate this part. Active satellite. Quantum scan. Ionic power core. was 
way too easy. Why is it just sticking with three? That's three for three. And I don't like it. Every time I've done this mission, and I've played it far more, more often than I'd like to admit, I've always screwed up more than once. Expecting, you know, variations. Instead, I get four of the same thing. I mean, I'm not complaining about that, but it's just too easy. I was expecting some difficulty. Maybe the game has finally learned that I despise shuttles so much that I want to get this over with as quickly as possible. If you want it, I've got it. That's great. Nice doing business with you. I'll just verify the transport and then I'll contact my friend, the very important Vorta. I'm sure that he'll be able to help you with whatever you need. Quick! Cut the comm! Jump to warp! What do you mean we don't have warp drive yet? Get it going! Now! Huh? Wait, can they still hear me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Wait, can they still hear me? Oh boy. You know the funny thing about resonance pulses? They drive the swarmers crazy. You Ferengi bitch! Get back here so I can kill you! I may hate STD, but I love that console. For the simple reason of, you know. <laughs> dealing with that. Now let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Farex ship has life support and engines, sir, but that's about it. Shields are failing, and she only has limited weapons. The lead Jim Hadar vessel is hailing us, sir. Putting it on screen now. Ah, so the representatives of the Alpha Quadrant finally make their way to seek aid from the Dominion. We have been expecting you. According to our information, you're having a slight occupation problem on Deep Space Nine. I might be able to assist you with that problem if you have come here in friendship. And as we all know, Friends help one another. You can start by destroying this nuisance and her ship. She has intruded into the Gamma Quadrant without permission and is conducting unauthorized salvage operations in our space. The penalty for this is clear. By all rights, we should execute you as well. But I am willing to overlook your involvement this time. So, as the Ferengi would say, do we have a 
deal? We are still friends, right? <laughs> Prepare to die. I, I'm in a bit of a spot here. Got any help for your old pal, Farrick? You could certainly say that. Lock all weapons on her and prepare to fire. Hey, hey, hey! Watch where you're pointing those weapons. Come on, I may have done a few tiny little things wrong, but nothing that's worth killing over. The resonance pulse. You can't be upset about that, can you? You lived. You can't be mad if you lived. Wrong again. You know I can't fight you. I'm no warrior. I'm a worm. You don't want to kill a worm, do you? Be a pal. Let me go. Not happening. Die. I'm vengeful. Sue me. You don't try and kill me. Unless you expect to fail. Well, perhaps I should raise that so a little bit better. If you try to kill me, make sure you succeed. Otherwise, you die. Excellent! Now, now I, see I see the type, the type of, officer of officer you are. You are. This, this could, could be, be the start, start of a mutually, mutually beneficial, beneficial partnership. partnership. I will return to the Alpha Quadrant with you and render whatever assistance I can. Hmm. There is a price, though. For more than 30, 30 years, years, Starfleet has held, Starfleet one, of has held one of the founders as a prisoner of war. A prisoner of war. Imagine, Imagine the hubris, the hubris it takes, to, it takes to contain a god. The arrogance. The arrogance. When, when the founder, the founder is, is returned to me, me you will have you will the, have Dominion's, the Dominion's, Dominion's complete cooperation. cooperation. And my guarantee, my guarantee that Karakhan and his fleet and his will fleet not trouble not Deep Space Deep Nine Space again. Nine again. Seriously? They haven't fixed that? It used to be another Vorta, but Wei Yun obviously replaced him with Victory is Life. You're starting to see a theme. Never doing that mission again. Not on this tune. Not ever. Not on any character. I don't need to do it on Jim Hadar, and I really have no need of putting Jim Hadar shields on a Jim Hadar ship. I have better sets. Housecoat Gaming, signing off. <laughs>